Hello friends and welcome to Storytime with Fade. Today we are reading Mr. Postmouse's Rounds. It's written and illustrated by Marianne Dubuc. Hope you enjoy today's story and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Mr. Postmouse's Rounds. It's Monday and Mr. Postmouse is starting his rounds. He carefully loads up his little wagon and sets off. He makes his first delivery to Mr. Bear, who has been waiting for a letter from his Aunt Ursula. Next, Mr. Postmouse delivers a large parcel to the rabbit family. Phew! Nothing for Mr. Snake today. He thinks with relief. At the birds, Mr. Postmouse climbs up, up, up into the trees. Luckily, he isn't afraid of heights. It's a delivery of nuts for Mr. Squirrel, as usual. Then it's time for lunch. Mr. Postmill stops at his friend, Mr. Dragon's, for some barbecue. Mrs. Mole's package arrives safe and sound. Thank you, Mr. Postmouse. And it's a sweet treat for the ants. Down the lane, Mrs. Turtle unwraps two pairs of zippy roller skates for her mobile home. The Crocs' house is just next door. It's so very humid. Mr. Postmouse lets nothing stand in the way of his deliveries. Gurgle, gurgle. Hello, Mrs. Octopus. Oh, look, it's a game of hide and seek in the coral. On dry land at last, a little note for Mrs. Fly. And next, it's Mr. Wolf's turn. Shh, Mr. Postmouse tiptoes quietly around the Bat Sister's house. At the Penguins' place, it's winter all year long. Brrr. Mr. Yeti receives delicious tarts from his cousin Yolanda. Bon appetit! Then Mr. Postmouse heads back down to the valley. Whee! See you next time, mountain goats! Just a few more deliveries to make. This one is a bit smelly and this one is a bit worrying. Now we're... Now there is only one parcel left. Who is it for? Surprise! It's for Mr. Postmouse's son, Milo. Happy birthday, my little mouse. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story, friends. Until next time, see you soon.